uh, thank you for joining me, Peter. Um, and today we'll be going over a quick interview about the program of combinatorics and optimization. Before we get started, uh, just a quick self-introduction on my end and perhaps an introduction from you as well. Uh, my name is Farzan Ntufidri. I am a 4A actuarial science student at the University of Waterloo. Um, and I'm really excited to get the chance to speak with you today. Uh, so, Peter. Thanks, Farzan. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm an associate professor and the associate chair for undergrad studies in the combinatorics and optimization department. Amazing. Well, thank you so much again for taking the time to speak with me. Um, and first of all, can we just get started with um, you telling us a little bit more about what combinatorics and optimization is really about? Well, combinatorics and optimization is a department that brings together mathematicians that work in a number of areas, but they're all broadly themed around the mathematics of discrete objects and of solving industrial size problems. Okay, that's really cool. And when it comes to students and choosing combinatorics and optimization as a field to study in, um, what do you wish some students knew before entering and choosing CO as their major? The thing I always want to see when students declare a major in CNO is that they know what to expect from our department, so they're making the right choice for them. I think the best way for them to learn if a CNO major works for them is to take one or both of our introductory courses, Math 239 and CO 250. If you like what's in those courses, then there's a good chance you'll like what's in the CNO major. Cool. And for those courses specifically, are they courses that be taken in second year? Yeah, those are courses that you can take in second year. Uh, you can take them as early as your 2A term. When it comes to you, Peter, what do you love about the field that um, you're teaching in and what is exciting to you about this field? Uh, well, I'm personally, I'm a, on the combinatorics side of the department. The thing I really like about combinatorics is the beautiful mathematics that can come out of simple questions. Uh, compared to some other areas of mathematics, combinatorics has questions that are very easy to state and questions that are very easy to ask but the answer leads to deep and beautiful mathematics and you learn a lot while doing it. Uh, that's one of the things I like about combinatorics. Uh, optimization is great for a reason that is similar. You have a real world problem, like you want to pack boxes into a truck to deliver them. And to do that in the most efficient way, you want to solve a math problem and that math problem turns out to be beautiful. So I think that everything in the department, beautiful concepts coming out of simple things is what I like about them. That was a very great way to put it. And I can imagine with a program like this, there's just so many real world applications. Absolutely. So when it comes to having, putting these into practice, when it comes to choosing a career, what types of careers can be pursued uh, with this major? Well, I think first of all, anyone that graduates from our, our major is going to be highly numerate and mathematically competent, good at picking up new skills in a way that anyone with a math degree is. But I think on top of that, the math in our department is more intimately related to the real world than some other types of more pure mathematics. Uh, for instance, if you study combinatorics, you'll see things like graph theory. And <clears throat> graph theory has a million applications in computer science all across the industry. Uh, similarly, if you're into optimization and you focus on that side of our department, then you'll know the mathematics behind how to solve large scale industrial problems in a way that someone with just a math degree or someone that's just a, uh, got a computer science degree won't necessarily know. Cool. Um, and, and I know that, you, like you were saying, that um, benefiting from the CNO program, there's a lot of similarities to some of the other mathematical programs. And there's some that are similar in their name and perhaps in the courses that are taught. Uh, the two that come to mind are computational mathematics and perhaps mathematical optimization. So how does the CNO program at Waterloo differ from those two programs? Uh, well, first I'll talk about mathematical optimization. So this is a program that's also offered by the CNO department, and as such, it's very similar to uh, the CNO major. The difference is that mathematical optimization, it comes with a specialization in either business or operations research, and therefore has a lot more of a focus on the applied side of the department. So you'll be taking a lot more optimization courses. The uh, degree requirements are a bit more focused on the optimization side, but you'll be doing a lot of things that have overlap with what's in the CNO major. Computational mathematics is a better choice for people that are more interested in the statistics and applied math departments as well as our department, rather than wanting to focus on just CNO. So if, if there was one key takeaway from this major um, in terms of what you'd be able to do uh, when it comes to, you know, those real life applications that you mentioned, um, is there any one thing that stands out, one factor that students should take into account when it comes to declaring their major and, and considering combinatorics and optimization? I think that if you're really interested in solving real world problems, 
but you're also interested in the deep mathematics behind these problems rather than just the skills and techniques you use to solve them, then CNO is right for you. So CNO is a great program for people that are really interested in applications of the mathematics, but also have a very theoretical bent to their personality. Thank you so much, Peter. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. And I really do hope that this is going to motivate students to consider and declare uh, CNO as their major. Thanks a lot, Father.